Okay, a little an athletic video there. So we're back to standing up. So we're going to stand with our feet apart. And we're going to do the same stance as we were doing down on the floor. So hands together, breath in. Breath out, lift and lengthen. Breath out, come over to the right side. Keep the arms long, the body's engaged, the legs are long, tailbone's tucked under. And you can gaze up to the side of this arm or up towards the hands, whatever's more comfortable. Or again, down at the floor. So long, straight into the side. Breathe into centre, breathe over to the opposite side. Breathe into centre and slightly back bending. So lift the arms up, really strong through the legs and see if we can gently um, come back. So I'm gently lengthening the arms back, tuck the tailbone under and coming backward. Good. Breathe into centre, breathe out, bring the hands down and step to the front and we'll start on our standing postures. Okay, some sun salutations, so breath in, breath out. Next breath in, lift and lengthen the arms up to the side. Breath out, forward bend. Breath in, hands on the shins, really lengthen the back. Breath out, bend the knees, stepping back to black, one leg and then the other. Breath in, knees down, and then chest or both together. Tuck those elbows in, breath in and out. Legs long, lift the chest up. Again, you can lift the knees if you wish. Knees down, toes under, and into down dog. Breathe in and out, bend the knees, step forward, come into forward bend. Breathe in, rolling up to stand, bring the hands above the head and then down the centre. Take a breath in and out. And again, breath in, lift and lengthen. Breath out, forward bend. Take a bend in the knees here, that's what I'm doing because I'm a bit tight on my left side just now. Breath in, hands on the shins, really lengthen the shoulders back, chest forward and gazes forward. Breath out, bend the knees, stepping back to plank. If you can come down with the whole body, your chest and tummy should touch the floor at the same time. So breath in and out, tuck the elbows in, coming down, coming down together. Tuck the elbows in and out and lift through to up dog. And then tuck the toes under and into down dog. Breath in and out, bend the knees, step or jump forward if you really want. If you want to jump, you lift the feet together, place them down, still forward bend, or just step one foot and then the other. Breathe in and out, rolling up to stand, hands together, and then. Good. Right angle pose, sorry, triangle pose on this right side. So I'm going to take a block in case I need it. I'm going to step my right foot out, block or cushion or book or anything. Place it here. Okay, right heel in line with the back arch, so heel to arch alignment, and nice and square in the body, or shoulders are underneath the hips. Breath in, lift and lengthen. Breath out, coming down. So again, I can hand on the block, I can grab my big toe, if I need to, or I can hold on to the ankle. But you're, whatever you're doing, you're twisting and opening the chest, stretching into the front leg, straightening it as much as you can, and lengthen up. Breathe in, flowing back up, just gently lift the arm up and then turn the hips as you bring the hands to the hips. So the hips are now squared on. I'm going to move my back foot out a little bit. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. 
breath out, come down, and this time I'm going to take the block that I had there to the outside of this foot, take my left hand onto the block, straighten as much as I can into this front leg, stretch the chest forward, and then see if I can twist, and the hand either goes onto the lower back, or if you're able to stretch it up high. Trick in this in a B. Breathe in, hand down, come back up, bring my block with me, or my book, or my cushion, turn left foot out, right foot slightly in, heel to arch alignment. Lift the dip off there. Lift the arms up. Nice trick in us first. Breath in, breath out, come forward and down. Again, the hand can go to the block, the ankle, the toe. This time I'm going to take it to my ankle, turn, lengthen, and lift the arm up. I'm gazing upward, but again, if that becomes too much, just look down. Breathe in, move my block over one before I come up, breathe out, turn, hands to the hips, twist, hips are square on, move my back foot out, left and left, and can bring arms out to the side, come forward, take the right hand over to the block, lengthen the chest, straighten as much as you can with the front leg, twist, hand either goes here, in the lower sacrum, or straight up. This is my side, I'm quite tight in here, so all I'm doing is bending my knee a little bit. If you can straighten it though, um, that's what you're aiming to do. Breath in, breath out, come back up, stand, hands together, and step to the front of the mat. Perfect, right angle pose. So right knee forward, bend the right knee, Ankle, sorry, knee over the ankle, hands on the hips. Okay, again, blocks here. Okay, I'm just going to leave it where I said I don't need it right now, but you can move it if you need to. Breath in, lift and lengthen. Breath out, hand here, or if you've got your block, this is where you can slide the hand onto the block with the floor. Open the chest, breath in again, breath out and extend all the way overhead. Gazing up to the hand if you can, my hand's off the screen, or just down at the floor, but keeping the chest, don't turn, rip, twist downward, lift and lengthen and open and keep these feet strong. That's my hand there, let's just move it. Now take the top hand, swing it down, from bring both hands to the front foot, bring the back knee down. This is a bit more challenging, so you might need a block for this. I'm going to place it just again in the outside edge of my little toe. I'm going to lift my left arm up. I'm going to bring it over to this side of my knee. So I breathe out. Place the hands on the block or the fingertips, okay? So if I turn around, you kind of bring in the hand here, okay? Now I'm going to just turn back around so you can see what I do with my legs. So, arm up again, arm over and breath out. So then I want to tuck the back foot under, I want to lift that leg. If it's too much with the heel up, place the back heel down, so whatever you're capable of doing. And then see if we can take the hand, let right hand here, or breath in and out and extend the way. In fact, just bring that back heel down, that'll make it easier. Instead of going up like this, bring the heel down. Breath in, release both hands down, push through the legs, turn and twist to the left side. Okay, so trick it in, partial kanatha, right ankle pose first, bend the knee, breath in, lift up, breath out, elbow to knee or slide the hand down, whichever you're more comfortable with. Take the right arm up and extend the weight, opening the chest, gazing upward if you can. Bring that hand down, bring them both to the front foot, back knee down, lock to the outside edge of the foot, lift the right arm up, lengthen, 
Bring it over, elbow over, shoulder over as much as you can. Place the hand on that block. Tuck the back toes under, bring the heel down. This is tricky enough in itself. You might be comfortable enough just being here and just looking down. Or if you can, you twist twisting the chest again a bit, lift the top arm up and extend the way. Breathe in, breathe out, hands down, come back up and step to the front of the mat. Perfect. Okay, right lunging. So knee down, back knee down, right knee is over the ankle. And just place the hands here, shoulders back and lifting through the chest and the, the tummy here. Breath in, lift the arms back, let's swing the back and then up, breath out, keep the shoulders down and then just gaze them together. Now let's see if we can bring the hands slightly closer, if they can touch, perfect, if they're just moving in towards each other, fine too, because we're going to come up to do warrior one. So I want you to tuck the back toes under so you can push up, but place that back heel down once you're up. Warrior one, front knee is bent, the hands are together or working towards each other, above the shoulders and the hips are square on. Good. And breathe, keep the breath moving. Breath in and out, release the hands down. Turn, just turn your feet. So your left knee is now facing forward, opposite side. Come down onto the right knee and the left knee lunging here. Breath in and out, swing the arms back and up. Hips are square on, arms are up. And if you can, again, bring the palms together without, this, without lifting the shoulders up, without hunching. If I lift the weight up like that, I'm quite high. I'm trying to keep them down. I'm keeping that knee over the ankle. Now, I'm going to come up again to um, warrior one. So tuck the back toes under, push through the feet. Once you're up, place the back heel down, bend over that ankle and lift and lengthen here. Hips are square on, so try not to be turning to the side. You're trying to get the chest round and the hips round and straighten through the back leg and keep the front knee bent. Breathe in, hands down, and step forward. Good. A little bit of flowing with our right ankle pose and warrior two. So right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to come to right ankle pose with our hand, our elbow rather, onto the knee. So right knee, right elbow, open the chest. Okay, breath in, lift this arm over. Keep that chest open. Now we're going to swing up into warrior two and hold for a few breaths. Breath in, bring the left hand down, right arm up, keep the knee bent, come to warrior two. So both arms at the height of our elbows and they gaze along the middle finger of the right arm. Now we're going to go back and forth. We're going to come bring the left arm down, right arm up, breath in. Breath out, whoa. right angle pose. Breath in, warrior two. But we'll take the hand down. It's a slight variation. Whoa. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. 
and just bring the hands to the hip and step forward. Give the legs a little shake. Good, perfect. Left foot forward, right heel back. Again, heel to arch alignment. So warrior two, sorry, right elbow pose first on this side, then warrior two. Left elbow to left knee, open the chest. Lift the right arm up, breath in. Breath out, extend overhead. So you're keeping the whole body long, chest open, knees over the ankle and gazing up. Breath in, bring the hands up to warrior two, shoulder height, chest open, knee over ankle. Perfect. And then our little swaying motion. Breath in, hand, elbow down, hand over. Breath out. Lift up a wee bit. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Hands together and step to the front. Good. Okay. Now we're going to come to horse. Okay, so feet are a little bit apart. Um, not quite half a distance, from them, but not like a full leg, so about three quarters, roughly three quarters. Okay, so we're going to hold it once, we're going to come up. We're going to do it three times, so just take it nice um, and slow it in your own time. If you have to come up at any time, do so. Keep the feet grounded, keeping these inner legs really used, and don't lean forward, really roll the shoulders back, engaging the tummy, so you're lifting here, hands are firstly in front, okay? Breath in, breath out, come down. So... I'll just come on from the side to show you as well. So you're coming down, the back straight, the knees do not go over the toes, so you're not coming all the way over, but you're coming in that direction and you're just holding here, head upright. Breath in, come up, just a little bend in the knees from side to side. So this time we're going to lift the arms up and we're going to bring them wide, okay? In fact, let's keep them up and then the set third time we'll bring them wide, okay? So, go round and down the legs. Tailbone's tucked under, so this whole core has been used, the lower back and the tummy. Breath in, breath out, come down, lift the arms up and lengthen. And smile through this hard one. Breath in, up and hands down again, just a little sway, bring hands to the hips from side to side. Good. And then the third one, we're going to breathe. Ground down. Keep the hands to the hips more. Breath in, breath out, come down. Then bring the hands together. Another breath in, breath out, lift. And this time turn into goalpost arms. So a bit shoulder height, elbows bent, chest open. Really keeping our bend here. Breathe. Breath in, come up. Just keep the hands to the hips and just take a moment. Again, a little sway from side to side. Now we're going to come down again. So breath in and out, come down. I know I said three times, but we're going to slide the hands down. We're going to move. So right hand down to the right knee, left hand up. Breath in, slide the other side, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, keeping the back nice and long, breath out. Breath in, breath out. One more to the side. Breath in, breath out. Come up, give those legs a really good shake, walk them in and release them off. Perfect. Okay, standing posture is completed. We'll come down to the floor and come to the front of the mat. Okay, just take hands 
into prayer pose in front of the chest. Take a couple breaths here. So nice and strong, feet together, legs are lengthened, tailbone tucked under. Breath in. Close the eyes for a moment, breath out. Okay, release the hands down and open eye. Breath in, lift and lengthen. Breath out, forward bend. Step back to down dog. So one foot and then the other. Bottom up, head down, arms and legs nice and long. Now, before we finish um, doing any kind of, we're going to come down and do some twisting and other stuff. But before we do that, I want to do a balance on our knee. So I want to come down to, I'll come to the right side. I want to come down to the right knee, sorry, right knee, right hand. So place the right hand on the floor so the shoulder can be right underneath it. And the right knee, if you can take that leg behind your fine. If you find it too much, you have to bring it to the side. Whatever's more comfortable for you. Leg up, okay? So we're leaning into this right leg, right arm, we're turning and twisting, breath in, and we're lifting it. If it's too much with the arm up, you can keep the hand out, just on the hip, but this leg is long, pointing the way the foot is flexed, okay? If I turn around this way, it's just a flexed foot, so the foot's out like that. Gazing up at the hand if you can. Breath in, breath out, come down, and we'll do the opposite side. So just come on to the heels for a moment, tuck under the toes, give them a little shake from side to side. And then bring the left hand down, shoulder under wrist. Okay, push into the left knee, the toes are flat at the back, or if they're out to the side, whatever is easier for you, turn and twist. Lift that leg out, breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out, come down. Come back to sit on the heels, so take the knees apart, keep the arms out wide, bring the forehead down, and just take a moment or two here. Walk the hands back up. Roll over onto your bottom, sit down. Or for Charlie, I could say buttocks, that'd be a little joke that someone will get. Okay, we're going to do some twisting. So first I want to come and I want to bring the knees in. We're going to twist from side to side. So again, I just want the um, shin, the back shin uh, in front of the front calf and the hands and the knees. So again, see if you want to use your block here. If you feel like I'm not quite even or I feel better, take the um, cushion or block and sit up on it, okay? hands are just here on the knees. I'm going to take the right hand over to the left knee, lift and lengthen, turn and twist, bring the fingertips behind. Now don't lean back into this or forward, keep the back straight and twisting around. Breathe into centre, bring the opposite hand over, lift and lengthen, turn and twist, left hand over to the right side. Breathing, come back to centre. This time I want to come into Virasana, so that's where we bring two feet and we sit between them. Again, if this is too much, grab whatever block you need and you place it here. Whoops, nice and square on, and we sit together. So whatever's more comfortable for you, like this or off the block. Okay, so to be fair, it's probably more comfortable for me as well. I can do both, but I'm just going to keep it, make it nice and easy. Sometimes it's not always about pushing and stretching and you know strength and it's about making the body open okay so again right hand on to left knee lift and lengthen breath in breath out as we turn and twist breathing 
breathe into center, bring opposite hand over, lift, lengthen, turn and twist. Come back to center. Remove the blocks. So why don't you bring your legs out in front? We know we did these twists at the beginning, apart from Virasana. I just want to see if they're any easier or more comfortable. So legs are out in front. Okay, I'm hiding my feet for a good enough reason. Okay, lift and lengthen. Right hand over. Lift on, hold on to the side of the thigh. Try maybe not the knee. You don't want to grab the knee. Keep the feet. Don't let one foot move away and longer than the other. Okay, just I don't want you to have your feet like that. I want you to keep them evenly balanced. Lift and lengthen. Breathe in. Turn and twist. Breathe into center, opposite hand over, over. Breathe in, come back to center. Now we're going to do Marichyasana. We're going to do two of them, hopefully. So the first one I want to bring the right foot up. Again, this knee is underneath this ankle, but you've got a gap between the left leg, which is nice and long and active with the foot up, and the right foot. So bring the right shoulder through, okay? So breath in, put the hand down, breath out, start swinging it round. As far as it will go, then you must lift the palm up, take it round to the back, take the left hand and see if you can join the hands together. You can clasp the fingers or grab hold of the wrists. Keeping this foot, now it might want to get to the side, you're trying to keep it in so that knee and shoulder are close by. Lift and lengthen and come forward. Breathe in, lift up, release this leg down, bring the left foot in. So you're just hugging the knee in first. This foot's nice and active, gap between the foot and the thigh. Lift the left arm up, bring the shoulder through, hand in, swing it back, lift. When the palm can't go any further, hand comes behind. Take this other hand, hold the fingers or grab, don't let the knee fall outside, keeping that knee in. Lift it up and then come forward. And you can come all the way down. I used to be incredibly good at these and I could come right down, but I'm afraid to say I have even become stiffer in the last couple of years and I can't come down as close as I used to. You should get the head down to the knee and keep moving forward. Chest is really coming down towards the thigh and the knee is always gazing, the head, the gaze is always towards the toes. Breath in, breath out, come up, release, get these legs a little shaky. Okay, C, so there's A and B, we've got missing B out. I want you to bring this right foot in, and this time I want you to bring it in close to the other foot, okay? Just for a minute, just give it a hug, both hands and give it a hug, keep the left leg active, and the body's up. Now take the right left arm over, so you're bringing it over, this knee's coming back, okay? You're twisting, twisting, twisting. You can, if you can get that hand round, you can then take the other hand and you hold and twist and gaze over the shoulder. My buttocks are lifting up a wee bit here, so I really should be on a block, because you should keep the buttocks even. I'm going to come onto my block, lift my left arm up, come over my right shoulder. See if you can't twist round, you just push, twist, and lengthen round. And these actually work into the hips, and all twists are so good for your internal organs. They relieve them of pressure or move them into space where they should be, but they're very good. So twisting is great for internal digestive problems. Breathe in, breathe out, come back, swap sides. So bring the left leg up. Again, left foot, I'll turn around slightly, is close to the right leg, which is just out and being active. This time lift the right arm up, breathe in, breathe out, come forward. Again, if you can twist all the way around and take the other hand, you can grab and gaze over the shoulder or just hand out, pushing backwards, keeping this hand here and gazing over the left shoulder. Breath in, breath out, release. Come off the block, place it to the side. 
place the feet on the floor and then we're just going to roll down, bring our back down, our head down, hug the knees into the chest and just stay here for a minute, just rocking from side to side. We're just going to finish with a lift, a leg lift. Now, you can either do a leg lift or you can do a shoulder stance. So, to lift the legs up, you're just keeping this base, this tailbone on the floor with the hands to the side, feet together, knees together, you lift and you bring them roughly kind of a 90 degree angle. Feet are flat and hands are here and you hold them for 10 breaths. But if you wish to come up to shoulder stand, you can come, knees are tucked in, roll the knees over towards the forehead, put them open, place the hands onto the lower back, walking one elbow in then the other. So the elbows are coming in as close together as they can. Then when you've got a bit of balance here, it's, it's coming through the elbows into the shoulders. Your knees together can lift up, feet can lift up, and we hold here. So pick whichever one you wish to do. Um, now I'm here, I'll stay, and we'll hold them for 15 breaths. Keep breathing. Ten breaths. Now, to come out of shoulder stand, if you're out of the legs, just gently bend the knees and lower them down. Shoulder stand, bend the knees towards the forehead. Release into the back, roll down, bring the feet down and come into relaxation. So legs out to the corners of the mat, hands by the side and release in. Put on anything you want, jacket, uh, hooded top, socks, grab a blanket and pull that over you too. Okay, so come down and relax. Well done. A nice spring flow with lots of standing postures, twists. We've really opened up quite a lot of the body. So now come into the floor, sit down, relax, and I am going to use a little bit of music this morning, or during this practice, sorry, we're going to just play a little bit of the music, but we're going to um, do a little bit of um, power on guided relaxation first. What I want you to do lying on the floor is just slowly let everything soften and release down into the mat. And as you're doing so, I want you to imagine breathing in. Now you're not focusing on a big deep breath, but you're naturally, the breath is natural. You're breathing in a nice soft green colour and the green is floating through the body, releasing and letting it go. And as you're naturally breathing out, you're breathing out a red, a colour we no longer require. We're just letting um, the redness go out. So do that just for a couple of minutes. Just gently breathing in. Don't really focus, I must breathe in green, I must breathe out red. You're just breathing and as you're breathing it's green, it's softening, it's releasing all the muscles, tendons and joints and you're breathing out. 